Parasitoids are creatures that lay their eggs in other organisms. Their young live and feed inside the host, leading to the host's slow and inevitable death. This living host would seem to provide a safe haven for the developing parasitoid. However, even they are hunted. Even parasitoids are susceptible to parasitism. Hyperparasitoids from several Hymenoptera families attack other wasp parasitoid species. They typically attack the larval or prepupal life stages. What? Parasoid of a parasitoid? This is so confusing. Hyperparasitoids like this Hypoteromalus tabacum attack the prepupal stage of Catesia congregata. They lay a single egg per host. The larvae will spend the next two weeks developing before emerging from the host's cocoon. These hyperparasitoids will live for about a month, enough time to mate and locate potential hosts. Terramallid Catalacus annoviridis is also hunting for the same prepupal Catesia congregata. This hyperparasitoid has been reported from several different genera of hosts. Multiple hyperparasitoids may exist on a single primary parasitoid. There's just so many of them. There are 12 species on Catesia congregata. 12 alone from congregata? The ichneumonid Mesochorus americanus utilizes a different strategy. These wasps possess an elongated ovipositor, which is used to parasitize their host larvae directly through the caterpillar cuticle. Even inside the caterpillar, the wasp larvae are not safe. These two ichneumonids are newly emerged male Isdromus lysini. They are searching for females and eating for the first time as adults. There are at least 100,000 species of parasitoids. If this wasp species has so many known hyperparasitoids, imagine how many are awaiting discovery.